Movement, you saying movement is the movement, the move with, move with. You are on TV for life. You already know what it is. Know what it is. So I'm back with the guest. We got King Erna from OBA. Yo, my my goodie was good. What's going on, homie? How you feeling, bro? Man, same old. It's a Friday. You already know how that shit go. What's up, man? How you, man? Oh man, I can't complain. You know, Lord, look, beautiful day for me today is uh, Jumaa Friday. You know, the Muslims is fasting this month of Ramadan, so you know I'm just relaxing, man. How are you? Oh, okay, that's what it is right there. All right. It, it, you know what? Break that down for me real quick. So, what's that mean? Well, in reference to the fact that uh, the holy month of Ramadan, it's around the time when the um, Quran was revealed amongst the Muslims worldwide. So. You know, what we try to do on this um, month, we try to uh, make sure that we praise the law, keep our mouth, you know, our tongue clear of negativity, and, you know, on top of our prayers, on top of Juma'a. You know, it's, it's just a blessing this month, man. So it's a lot of relaxation. You don't you don't find a lot of negativity around this time of the year, you know? Okay, I got you. I got you. I definitely see OBH making big moves over there. Hey, man, listen, I, I, I'm going to tell you like this, man. I have to say this, and I have to be, you know, truthful. Ab has truly made such a turnaround in reference to his career and being, you know, percent and, you know, having everybody behind him. So he got the whole, not only do you have the whole city, he have a lot of good, good people that's, you know, sitting in some high places, man, that's just want to, just happy to see him go forth, you know? Definitely, definitely. I've been fucked with Ab since Larsney, and I see dead people to try to see. I got all his shit, dude. Hey, man, listen, man, if, if don't nobody got it, they need to go do it now. They need to go grab that Who Harder Than Me Part 3. They need to go grab that Mud Music, and they need to go grab every last, you know, album we had prior to that, man. You know, yeah. a lot of people... And the, o- a lot of people. <laughs> and the OBH compilation album was fire, too. Oh, uh, every... I mean, I haven't... I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't listened to nothing by them guys, and I'm not saying it because they're my bros, but I haven't, I haven't heard nothing from them guys that was corny. Everything was hip hop, you know. what I mean, mm-hmm. it's true, true hip hop. Mhm. Especially P ninety, he talked that shit, man. But yeah, man. So, so what's what, what's going on with you know? You got some room. You want got something you want to address? Man, I, I listen. I have a lot I have to address. Number one, I want the world to know that it should be happy to understand that AR Ab and you know OBH Goonie Gang. You know what I'm saying? You got Leak Marsh. You got Dark Low. You got your Trendsetter Shadies. You got all the guys, man, who is that's working hard. You got your Ravens. You got everybody that's working hard and for high ab, 100%. Especially being as though, you know, you have um, Baby backing him now. But also that comes along with that is a lot of hatred, a lot of lies. A lot of people putting out a lot of BS stating that uh, OBH family has something to do with um, Quilly Mills getting shot or Quilly Mills being disrespected, which is not true, man. And we had a guy who was just reaching, you know, claiming the journalism, but actually reaching out trying to be a fan. You know, you know, some people, when I say a fan, I'm not talking about, because we honor the supporters, you know what I'm saying? And we respect the fans, but this guy is playing as a, journal, a journalist and picking up lies and putting out the wrong stories, man. A guy by the name of Gully TV, man, he has no honor in his heart. We accepted him with, you know, open arms. He contacted me not too long ago in reference to Leak Moss. You know, um, when he reached out, I thought the guy was genuinely a good person, man. He said he just wanted to get a video. He heard um, Leek Moss' um, song, Trap Love. So he wanted to actually, you know, you know, get some recording behind the scenes. He wanted to do a video. So us being the honorable guys we were, we invited him in. You know, we let him come down to Philadelphia. He came to the studio. But, you know, he seemed like a good guy at the time. You know, he, he was happy to see Ad. He, he was happy to see Dark Low. He was happy to interview Deep Moss. All of a sudden, man, some time later, once he started seeing that ad was blowing, he started reaching and getting online and putting up a whole lot of lies, man. So I was confused. You know, I was really confused, brother. Okay, okay. I I, def- I saw one of the videos where uh, I'm pretty sure it was the main video that might have started it. Where he just said he just said after Quilly got shot, he said uh, he can't fuck with OBH in Philly. Do you feel like that was like? It was misleading when he said it like that or something? Yeah, well, it wasn't just that. Right? It, it actually got, you know, w- once he started putting things online, you know, I automatically reached out to him. I reached out to a brother, you know, that's in the city by the name of Tone Trump. 
And Tone um, reached out to him for me and said, man, you know, he, he told him what he was doing was way out of line because it's not only is it dishonoring us, but it's slander, you know, as Muslims. And this guy claimed to be a Muslim himself. He was putting out slander, lies behind everyone back that had no truth to it. I mean, I wish Quilly would really speak out. I'm not, I, I'm hoping that, you know, the next time that I, I, I tune on to Angry Radio and everybody has to keep in tune to you, because you speak truth. I'm hoping the next time I tune in that Quilly at least has gotten to sitting down with an interview with you and spoken the truth. Because I think on our end, we have done as much as possible. I mean, we have, we have let the world know that we honor this brother as a Muslim, that we don't disrespect him. You know what I'm saying? You know, we have a word that we're throwing around in the city. It's going worldwide, too. We see Dame Dash and uh, Kanye West. And on the brother Murder Mook, you know, they're doing a, a movie called Too Honorable. And this word is thrown around the world amongst dudes that's not honorable, though, such as Gummy mm-hmm. TV. He's not an honorable guy, man. I mean, everybody in Philadelphia and in the tri-state area know that King Ab came home, man, and had a lot of love for uh, Quilly Mills. You know what I'm okay. saying? He's, he's with on deck right now. I'm, I'm thinking, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's still with them. And, they, you know, they, they helped him put out a lot of good music. So I'm thinking that Quilly should be, like I said, reaching to the air sooner or later, allowing the people to know, like, these are my Muslim brothers. It's the month right. of Ramadan. Let me allow the world to know the truth that OBH family, King Ab, had nothing to do with dishonoring or disrespecting uh, Quilly Mills, man. And, you know, I saw the tape, and I wish that happens to none of my Muslim brothers in this world or my non-Muslim friends and family. I don't want that to happen to no one. You know, um, people have to get the perspective and understanding that OBH is going in the right direction, which is a positive direction. We have little Mulas, who's um, the CEO of Goonie Gang, who's holding it down on his end, and he's reaching out to beautiful people like Poe, who got me and you hooked up. And uh-huh. they're doing things worldwide legally. We got Leek Moss, who has the Ernest LLC, me and him is, you know, we're, we're backing that 100%, and we got legal things going on. We, you know, we can honestly say over 20 years and 15 years ago, a lot of people went into negativity. You know, King mm-hmm. Ash paid his debt to society. Okay. Let him go ahead, you know, let him go ahead and lead his way. Man, he's a positive guy. Just so, so you feel like the, the negativity is trying to go, is, is him bringing it backwards. Right. Correct. Because you know what? I'll be honest with you. I think like I don't know OBH personally. Just from how you guys move and, and the music and the rumors, I can see what you're saying from the door. I, 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 I understand where you're coming from. When you say you guys are making changes and whatnot, you see what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't no doubt. Did you see the Breakfast the Breakfast Club interview? Would give you an example of who King Ab is today. You understand what I mean? Okay. Truth, respect, reality. No lie. See, a lot of people can't handle Ab because he doesn't tell a lie. You know, and you know how that is, man. This world hates a person that tells the truth. So his music speaks the truth. Everybody say, well, he talks about murdering and killing in his in, in his music. Well, he just speaking of his past life, things he said he's seen in life. He has seen someone die because someone tried to hurt him, and he had to defend himself. You understand where I'm yeah. coming from? There's uh-huh. no je- double jeopardy. So we understand that. In life, man, it's decisions that you make that it could be harmful to the people in reference to the public, but it also them harmful things could have protected you in your life. And I got to I gotta tilt my hat out to a little bro, man. A lot of people need to understand and have to sit down with King Ab to understand who he truly is. I see a lot of people reaching out. You see Baby, he reached out. You know why? Baby has the honor in his heart to understand where he came from, so a, he can look at, that's why them type of people have to be the ones that's hands-on with Ab because they have had a, you know, a, a past that was similar. So that thing is, man, I can relate to this young man. And, I, and you know, you can network off of Ab. Ab has a beautiful network going on right now. Definitely, definitely. Now, I, that, that, I don't think it's making that much noise myself personally. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that... Uh, well, how how was the rumors in Philly? How was Philly talking about it? Were they really running with the blog and saying that that uh, it was y'all? No, nah, Philly was actually behind us 100%, man. Philly was, this is how Philly was. Philly was on a tip like, 
No one even knew that what happened with Quilly because it wasn't put out. And with, with that, that was like, from what I'm hearing, man, from what I, when I put my ear to the concrete, because, mm-hmm. you know, you got you to gotta really dig that. I could put my ear to the deepest depths of the concrete and hear anything that has to do with the streets. And when I put my ear there, everyone else was just, you know, like, wow. I wonder how did it come, you know, how did the finger get pointed towards Ad and OBH because these guys got nothing, nothing man. Listen, man, Quilly, I'm going to give you a, this a small little proportion of how it ended and a positive type of guy Ab was. Now, before Ab went to jail, he told Quilly, come on down, man, get down. And Quilly got down. When Ab mm-hmm. went to jail, it's a, it's a bunch of wolves. And this boy was seeing a bunch of wolves around, and he just stopped coming around. No one didn't understand why. I, me, myself, I'm actually from Uptown, Philadelphia. You understand? And I never mm-hmm. understood why Quilly stopped being around. But some people, you know, some people, you know, they have different directions, and we have to understand that. And everybody in OBH was happy with, with that and was happy to see him move forward and move on with his career. So, you know, once again, man, we want the public to know because we want a lot of Quilly fans to know also that it mm-hmm. wasn't King Ab or OBH, man. And, you know, we honor this guy in a respectful manner. When I say we honor him, I mean we honor him as a Muslim. You know what I mean? Reference to street cred, we can't vouch for anyone. We only can vouch for the guys that surround us, man. And the guys that surround us are very stark, solid guys, you know? Okay. That's that's fuck that. I'm going to see if I can reach out to uh, Quilly Bills or when I see if I can get him up here to speak his piece. Yeah, he needs to come forth. I, I feel as though he needs to come forth because, I mean, any man any man of honor would actually make sure that they do that. You know, I mean, who wouldn't who wouldn't step forth and defend their brothers just like everyone is stepping forth? I mean, everybody was concerned about Quilly. He's in the fans. Quilly has a hell of a fan base here in Philadelphia. So yeah. it's like the, the fans, you know, I think it was somebody, man, who was trying to just turn against ads. Honestly, I believe it was somebody. A lot of people in the higher ups that's in Philadelphia, man. You know, they try to start reaching out, with, you know, to Ab about certain things. They want to reach out because they don't know. They say, "Damn, well, tomorrow he may be a billionaire." So let's try to keep let's save face with him. I'm telling everybody, man. Ab has made it this far in his career by the strength of the people that's around him, the supporters. And the love and the family, the guys, next level boys, the guys, the trendsetters, the guys that's the, the the murder gang, all them type of guys who's behind Ab, who's you know speaking positively, all four corners of the city right now and the tri-state Ab has right now. There's no no dispute in that, you know. Definitely, no definitely. I, I said before with Ab for a little minute and shit. I'm glad to see him doing his thing. Let me let me ask you a personal question. Like, was it rough? Like, how was it? With the whole Meek situation, both hey, both being from Philly and whatnot, like the job really went to even go in that direction. Like, how was that? I never understood that. Well, I'm I'm gonna be truthful, man. Personally, hands on with that situation. I mean, I had, you know I had just came home around the time, man, from doing a lot of time, and I didn't even know uh, a, a lot of the rap scene what was going on. And I I asked Ab, I was curious. I said, why don't you have a song, or why doesn't Meek have a song with you now that he signed? After you know, you know so much music you guys have had, and everybody painting his image and seeing that the goons going wild and things of that nature. Why? And you know, Ab was always an honorable guy, man. That man told me he said, "Well, you know, me and Meek are, 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 are we had the characteristics of being friends. So I'm going to say that the guy's busy. I can't say nothing else. But Meek is the one that shoe shined on him, man. He shoe shined on a lot of guys, man, and." You know, sometimes money, you got to understand, if you look at all the vlogs, his money was a little different than AR Ad money. AR Ad money was always good in the hood. Meek Mill money wasn't always good in the hood. Meek Mill at a time was struggling and really going through it. Ab has never had that problem after a certain age of stepping outside off the steps into the streets. He was, Ab has been successful in his, in his past years. Before he went to prison, he was a successful man in the streets. You see, so it's a difference. So I, I really believe that all the beef and all the things is, you know, that that's the hatred from Meek Mill, man, and the things that he wanted to do. He wanted to get, you know, Lil' Bro out the way 
And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the time when the police and things are like that uh, are, are, are bothering people from OBH, I wouldn't be surprised if these dudes is literally contacting the police and helping these guys, uh, you know, try to bring down AR Ab because they know AR Ab is a problem in the industry. The industry honoring me for being a real nigga when they ain't really met the real honorable nigga, King Ab. A lot of them didn't meet Ab yet, and a lot of them did, so... You know, man, you know, that comes with the territory of uh, of getting somewhere in life. Jealousy, you know? Yeah, it is, it is crazy. But now, now we're after that sign of baby, it's going to get even crazier. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get crazier. But you know what, man? I've seen this man, you know, be, I, I, when, I, when I call parameters, I mean, like, he, he's always on point. He's always, you know, doing things strategically. With the next level boys behind him, 100%, man, I believe honestly, honestly, that you could be we'll be looking at a mogul mogul in the next couple of months, man. Honestly, it's just to be truthful, you know. Mhm. Hey, man, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I know that much. Hey, man, listen, you got to think about it though. They talk bad about baby. A lot of people talk bad about baby. They make a lot of false accusations, call the man out his name. Think about this though, man. Baby has everybody that has been around baby has touched some real cash. Mm-hmm. I don't name too many people. I mean, even the guy that was his friends that, you know, said they got robbed, everybody got a chance, man. I can't get into the personal thing about who and who, but that comes with the business. If you listen to Styles P and Jadakiss and, um, and Sheik Luch always speak, they'll tell you about the business. It's about the business, man, and you can't really get into your feelings if you make a little less or make a little more, you know what I mean? Because ain't nobody crying about making a lot more, you know? Mm-hmm. You don't see nobody crying in the industry about making more money, but you hear everybody upset about making a you know a, a business decision and it not going too successful as it's supposed to be. Sometimes you have to understand that the people are not acceptive and the money not may not come in as it's supposed to. You know, so you take the bitter with the sweet. Most definitely. Now you right, so you guys are progressing, and y'all just looking toward the positive light, like you said right now. You just don't put all negativity behind y'all. Man, listen, all the negativity behind us, you know why? Because you got to realize it's, it's a difference between us trying to do it and us doing it. This is nothing but, you know, this, this is when, when we looked at upon the people now, it's looked at as the, the, the youth, the younger kids. They look at us and say, those are guys that were like this, but these are the guys that are like that now. We'll rather follow them because we know. They know that following a good lead can lead them in a good position opposed to following a bad lead, man. And all I see, man, when I hit the streets, the jails, like I said, I just come home from prison myself. So all the prisons are speaking right now, they're upholding and respecting ads. You know, I got I went into prison, man, and I've seen about a 1,000 Meek Mill friends and family and fans, and I've seen a 1,001 uh, AR Ab and Dark Glow and Leak Mall's family. I mean, I'm fans and OBH fans, and guess what? All of them are rooting for King Ad. See, when Leak is, I mean, um, Meek Mill expressed himself on the stage and screamed and yelled out his name, it allowed people to see, ho, oh, oh, ho, what's going on here? Somebody is holding in some type of bitterness. You heard how he reacted at that pink stage. He sat out there and he said, you know, fuck King Ad. Excuse my French because, you know, I'm not supposed to be cussing during a month of Ramadan. But he said these words, man. Only because of his bitterness and his hatred in his heart, he saw that he's so close to the door and there's no negativity. You see the posters. When you find a man who posts things like they're going to be in jail anyway, they're going to do this, this man has no honor. This man can't be honored by anyone because he's wishing the same system that he hates, he's wishing it on another man. And that's not honorable. That's not what we do here in Philadelphia. You know, I'm speaking... Not only for AR Ab OBH fam, I'm speaking for the Philadelphia and the Tri State also, man. The surrounding cities, man. Guys that's of honor. You know what I mean? Guys like yourself, man. And like I said, I want everybody to your radio station, man, tune into the Angry Fan Radio, man, because you speaking some facts and you gave us an opportunity. I wanna thank you for giving us an opportunity for everybody to hear the truth from my side, you know? Most definitely, most definitely. But but let me let me ask you this. If you was in leak shoes, like like how, like, would you feel some kind of way that Ab was fucking with Drake during that time? Did, would they ever reach out? Did anybody no, see you, or, or? 
No, I would, you know what it is, man? It's called politics, and Drake is a very intelligent man. And, you know, Drake know how, Drake has the honor. What Drake actually was doing, he was allowing Meek Mill to see that. You call yourself sir, or you call yourself a street guy, but the same niggas that you're around in your city that you couldn't have enough honor to mention and speak on and let everybody know about, I'm going to do it in one sentence, and I'm going to show you the honor in it and the bag that I'm going to get to these youngins. And, you know, that was respectful and honorable. I, I honored it. But, you know, in reference to him, you know, doing what he's done, I respect him for it because it's just like I'm going to use an example, a parable. It's like how when Muhammad Ali was in the situation he was in and he couldn't get a fight and Joe Frazier said, you know what, man, I'm going to go ahead. He met up with Muhammad Ali and he put some money in his pocket and he still wound up giving him a fight. It was the honor and the brotherhood of knowing that, man, this man, may not have no food on his table, so let me go ahead and help this man get some food on his table. Don't want nobody eating off the same table as him. You know why? Because he never he never was amongst the wolves in the streets where as though he was able. He was always a pack man. You know what I'm mm. saying? You see what Ab said? You still owe me for pack money. See, when, when, when Meek Mill was in the streets, he never had control of anything that he had going on. He was always a pack runner. He was always a guy who, you know, was selling something for someone. Opposed, he he already had hatred in his heart. Far as I'm concerned, you know, far as I'm concerned, he already had hatred in his heart. He probably went having them come around, look at the clothes, look at the snakes, look at them, and jealous of them. You know, so when he got on, he felt like you know some dudes, the man that don't have nothing, they feel like silently that people are stunting on them. So mentally, once he got on, he when he starts stunting on people that were never stunting on him. You know, so even the game went okay. No, yeah, man, that's how it is. And so you fill it up, you have to realize how we came up. We got, like, a lot of different parts of the city, right? And every part of the city almost, except for North Philly, might have, like, sort of a suburb part of the area, you know? So mm-hmm. Meek Mill, you know, Meek Mill, man, I feel as though, man, after he got out the trenches and somebody let him sleep in a beautiful bed, you know, he worked hard. You can't take it from him. He started working hard and, you know, he wanted to get away from his life. Well, these guys, you know, they was comfortable in his life. And like I said, man, you don't hear about too many Meek Mill entourage saying that they got him out of jail, that they've done these things. You, you hear about everybody from Ab Squad or Ab has uh, went by some one house and dropped some money off. Uh, this person's child don't have nothing to eat, but he's doing 15 years, but Ab might have dropped some money off. You know, things of this nature that you can say to man, it's honor and action. I don't know no honor and action Meek Mill has ever done for anybody, these book bag drives he's having. I mean, we're having a book bag drive, and we not even get – no. well, I'm not I'm not a rapper, but, you know, Moss, who, who's behind a, uh, the book bag drive, we not we don't have no, like, the book bag money to be given out, but we're taking it from, you know, from the depths of our pockets and buying these things on our own. We don't have a sponsor. We don't have anything. We're doing this to the people. We're giving back what they gave already, you know? Hello? Yeah, I'm here, bro. My fault. Say it again. Your phone cut off. Say that one more time, my fault. You no, doing it for what? No, I, I was saying that, you know, a lot of people, a lot of these artists and a lot of these millionaires, they do a lot of, they do the same thing that we do on a small level, you know. They'll go ahead and do book back drives and things of this nature. We're doing this from the muscle. We're going to have over 200 in Black and Old Boy, Broad and Airy, on August the 12th, where we're giving out book bags, school supplies, uh, signing shirts, things of this nature, and these artists are millionaires, and they're doing the same thing on the same level as us, it doesn't make any sense. Give me an M, I'm going to give more than, I'm going to give up close to 100000 back, you know? No, definitely. I hear you, man. You me? I definitely hear you. And you know what's funny about it? I'm a, I don't know how tough you rap with battle rap. On the battle rap side of Philly, is really doing their thing right now and shit. Well, I don't okay. know. I, I know. I, I know. I heard a couple of them. I heard a couple of young guys. I don't know if the young boy Mert. I don't. I don't know if Mert if he battle raps, but he should be a guy that should be battle rap. Man, you got the uh, No Bridge Bros. He should be a battle rapper. I mean, it's a lot of money involved in that, man. I would like to, you know, get my hands around that myself. You know. No, I think that's shit. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but hey, no, well, really, you, you got Joe, bread you, know, you got Reed. Reed Dollars came back. Sister Row came back. Um, Philly Swain came back. Tech Nice, a lot of like, like a lot of the old heads who was going back and forth. A lot of old heads, mm-hmm. but you know what I'm saying. The vets, the legends, they coming back and shit right now. So like a little wave yeah, going, on, going crazy. Dose came back. Joe, I was talking on the phone. I had he the other day. 
We talking about coming back. Kaboom came back. Hey, listen, man, I ain't gonna lie. Them guys are all talented, man. Oh, every last name you just named is all talented, man. I would like to see the. I would like to see the uh, the brother Hollow Man jump back in that in that and like to see him go in that direction, man, with the battle. Oh yeah. He, you know he he, he deserves it. I said the reason why I say deserve it is because. I saw him eat Ness up when Ness was a guy who was in the studio 24-7 with Bad Boy. You know what I mean? Mm. And with, with that whole PC joint? Proceed with yeah, caution. Oh, man. Right, that was... he, he ate him up. Hey, listen to me. When I say he ate that boy up, man, he ate him up to a high level, man. So it's to the point where it's like, I would like to see Hollow Man come on on that tip, man. Um, you got a couple guys, man. I It's a, it's a new brother but that just came home, man. That's from... Um, a lot of people probably, you know, haven't been really, you know, checking him out or heard of him in a while. He's done a lot of time. He just gave back life. Go by the name of Nino Brown, right? That was his old name. Um, I don't know what his name is now, but he was he was down with the boys Capone and them. You know, Capone and them went to jail. They had the little music uh, group, uh, Take Down Records, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And um, this brother, he, he got some good music, so look out for him, man. His, 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 first, his name was Nino Brown. But I don't know what his name is now. I think he changed his name because, you know, the feds gave him life. So I know he found out who Nino Brown really was. It was like, man, I don't want that name anymore. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's a lot of good. Like I said, it's a lot of good music and a lot of good artists coming out. But that SmackDown thing or that, or whatever the name of it is, that they throw on a um, high level on the hip-hop with the battle rap, I want uh-huh. to get, I think I'm going gonna, 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 gonna to get involved in that, man. I'm, I'm going to sit down, man with a few good guys, man, because really I need to see some of the promotion behind it. I know how to promote real good. I need to, need to get some money involved in this, man. It's an earn, you know? Yo, there's there's money in the year, but nigga, I'm going to be real. I don't talk about good battles. I don't give a fuck about the money and shit. Like, me, as a, as, as a fans are watching, they want to see good battles. You feel me? Right. I know no reason to even know that good shit. I dig that, but we care about the battle. That's all we really care about, fan-wise. Hey, no doubt. Hey, listen, I mean... I remember when, when Cassie had came back, you know, when he came back and was, him and the white boy was going at it, you know? And Brother. Cassie is a, you can't take, a lot of people, they, they, they misconcept a music and art with the person, you know? Me, myself, I'm like that also, you know? For a while, I wouldn't listen to nobody else but Styles P, you know what I'm saying? After Styles P, it was like, it was only Ab. After Ab, I was like, only Moss, you know what I'm saying? I had some dark glow in me, a lot of, you know what I mean? In reference to listening to the music, I, he, I, I like to tune in, but I got to get into the battle rap because, like you said, I love a good show, man. I, I honor a good show, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, definitely, man. Yo, you got to fucking get... Yeah, I'm trying to get Dark Low up here. I'm trying to get... Yo, these niggas don't even realize me. Like, OBH, y'all niggas might have stamped y'all so, in my opinion, uh-huh. like, it's one of the top realest Cool. Not not. I'm not even talking to people because I'm not from Philly. But I mean, you right. understand you, when you hear shit and you can feel that shit through the lyrics. <laughs> right, right. Like, like I feel that shit when I be listening to y'all niggas mixtapes, bro. Like P9, all the breezy baguettes, all the I. Y'all niggas ain't just talking. Y'all ain't just rapping to be rapping like that. Like yo, that thousand grams. The oh my god, when this nigga Ab dropped that, who's harder than me? Part one. Nigga, oh, that was don't get me started, my nigga. That shit was <laughs> insane, nigga. That was insane. Right, and then the Who Harder Than Me too. the intro, when he was talking about right. uh, sending a nigga on fight, like, bro, you just don't understand. Some shit is music and some shit is like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yo, you, it's like, man, y'all niggas might have solidified y'all for me, like, as that type shit. I put y'all shit on. I ain't just listening to the bars. Like, that motherfucker is, is going off. <laughs> right. Right, no, you, hey, listen, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I sent you a, a little guy from my neighborhood, he walked up on me, he said, man, you need to listen to AR Ab. I said, this is before I even sat down, you know, and even got Ab on some of I used to do the video editing and things of this nature. I said, um, you know, I need to listen to who? He said, AR Ab. I said, I, nigga, you tell him, nigga, uh, AK Hodge is around. You know what I'm saying? He said, no, really, man, listen to him. So, you know, I was a Styles P guy at the time. I like my Styles P music real heavy. But when I listen to Ab, God damn, he, he, he grabbed my attention. But you have to listen to his little brother. Have you listened to Leek Marsh yet? 
No, nah, I did the only thing I heard, you know what? I think I might have heard of one joint. I seen an interview with him when he was talking about uh Meek he was in the red shirt, yeah, just came home. He was somehow I was Meek doing was... the interview. I was doing the interview on that video. Oh, that was you shooting it? Yeah, that was me shooting to do the video. Him and C Doc. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was outside. Yeah, yeah. He had the red shirt on, he was breaking all that down. I seen that. I think I might have exactly. heard from him, but I didn't really hear nothing from the that's the one who did the um we did a couple eight years. Yo, you know what? I don't even want to talk about it because it's music. But it's just like right. when you so in tune with the music, right. you feel you me? It's just like you know something about Av Brother. Like he's he saying this shit not stop, so you know it must be true. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, he's I don't a lyric. He's a lyric though. You ever heard a person that's straight and lyric? Not but lyrical bars. We talking yeah. about the lyrical bars at the top of the line. I'm talking about. I'm almost listening to me, man, and it's going to be hard for me to sit it. You're going to jump all over me when I say this because we're talking about an icon here. But, I mean, I'm talking about bars right now that I believe he's the Jada Kiss and the style of this time. You hear me? He's the Jada Kiss. That's heavy to say that. You know that. That's heavy to say that. I'm telling you the truth, though. He's the Jada Kiss. But you know what, though? I'm going to be real with you. I got to say this, though. This this is what I got to say. We got to see that because we got to see what he could do in the industry, I, I I know he he made the money in um I got money in my pocket and like you know what I mean commercial song wise street wise right. yeah he yeah. you know he got that already we're not even talking about that you know what I'm saying right. he A-Tab is one of the the the, the gulliest out but right. rather he's trying to baby I am interested to see what direction is going to go on because he did start making a little bit of commercial tracks that I really wasn't right. feeling too tough and then right. I know it's going to be hard for him to really transition to be honest with you I know it is. It, it, I, 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 I feel you. I understand where you're coming from, from the outspoke, but I didn't see him. I've got music that you, a lot of people that haven't heard yet, right? And I've seen him do some things on tracks that I never believed that he could do. Mm. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, listen to the Uber, the Summer 16. Uh, listen to them last couple of tracks, and you'll see, what the hell, who is this? And you'll you'd be like, damn, this boy is lyrically, he's talented. He's really talented. And I believe, did you hear him and Styles two song? I'm in Styles P now. What's on? At AR app and Styles P. You never heard that joint yet? Nah. What are you talking about? You gotta, oh, man, you got to go check it out, man. That's what I'm saying. Yo, where is bro? Uh, stop playing. Where? Yeah, hey, listen, man. They got, it's on the internet, man. All you got to do is just Google it. Uh, Styles P, AR app. And you tell me, you give me the judge next joint or whatever. Next time we get to poly and kick it, you tell me how you feel about it. You know what I mean? Listen. All right. Now, niggas is about to kill me. But niggas know I be having my own opinion on shit. Hey, that's, that's that that, cool that, too, yeah. that that hardest out. I know, I know what I'm no. saying I get it. Styles that dude, I get it. But I'm gonna be real with you, bro. There is no way I'm counting out AR Ab like that. Right. Same way I'm gonna count out Uncle Murder like that. I get it. Right. Styles is the ghost. I get it. But I'm telling you, when I first heard. It, I fucked him with the law thing, but when I heard I see dead people, I already knew he was different, bro. I already you know, knew. Doc, you know, I knew did, you, did you hear? Did you hear Uncle Murder and, and, and Ab song? Where? Oh, come on, stop. It. It's all over the. Yeah, it is. Them Jones ain't get a lot of promotion, bro. That's what we we tightening up now. Our promotion. Listen, but look, 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 hold on. Before you even continue, you can come up right. here, my nigga. Okay. <laughs> you you can Not promote that bitch up here. Trust me. This is them shits okay. is my. Send them shits my way. I got you. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a follow protocol, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a poll when we hang up, and I'm gonna tell them to make sure you slide them joints to you, man. Because like I said, we talking all talent, man. We talking AR Ab, Uncle Murder, AR Ab, Styles T, and I'm telling you that they speaking. I mean, Ab is, is, is he's honored. He's honored on the track to the point where everybody is saying, man. Gosh, damn! Who we never heard this from this boy. This boy got fire in him, man. I mean, I ain't never seen him write a rap yet. So I ain't gonna lie. So I ain't seen Ab write a rap yet. I ask this boy all the time, "Where is he writing this at?" I ain't seen him write yet. Nah, Ab gotta be writing. He gotta, gotta be writing. Right. I mean, I haven't seen it, and I like what I'm saying to you is that these guys didn't step to me in their home when I was in, in bad situations, man. And I ain't seen I ain't seen him write nothing yet, man. That's what I mean. I'm talking about my eye. Yeah, I'm not saying to cook something and to come out. That's it. Is it I ain't seen him write nothing down yet. I haven't seen it. I would like. I'm gonna ask him when we hang up. I'm gonna ask him. Like, do you write? Do you do you, do you write this shit? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yo, man, we got you got to 
We got to see what's going on, man. We got to see what's going on. Hey, but man, yo, though, my nigga, definitely, yeah. definitely, yo, I, I need to get you back on, man. It's a good combo right hand shit, man. I, like, so you hands on with OBA, so you're going to be, you're going to be fucking with you heavy and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We hey. fuck with OBA. Keep, keep a nigga posting and shit, man. Hey, man, that, that's that's my family, man. And when I say that's not my family, I'm saying, like, you know, these these are guys that I that I love dearly that's close to my heart, man. You know what I'm saying? We might not swing on an everyday basis because, you know, it's a lot. It's a big age age difference in, in reference to time and a lot of things that I have to do that's different, whereas though I can't, like, really be hands-on 24-7, but I'm hands-on 34-7. That's how close we are. You know what I'm saying? So it's to the point where, it's though, man, guys like you, you know what I mean? I I, I gotta I gotta give you the the whole inside of the story, the truth and the facts, man. I, and I'm not gonna I'm I'm never gonna lie to you, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm never gonna incriminate myself because we don't have to speak on nothing criminal no more. Criminal the the, the, the criminal life has been passed us tw- over 20 years ago. You know what I mean? So that we don't have to speak on that no more. All we gonna speak is hip hop. The fans and the supporters they want to hear something. They gotta do with OBH and ARF and Leak Moss, Dark Low, Trent Seven Shady, guys like that. We're going to speak all hip-hop. We ain't going to speak nothing else but hip-hop, bro. You hear me? Nah, well, definitely and shit. I mean, you niggas been grinding and shit. You know, now you niggas is there. Just so keep pushing forward. I want everybody, bro, because, man, listen, I want everybody to tune in to you. I'm going to tell everybody when, when, we, when, we, when we hang up, I'm going to go and, and I'm going to make sure the promotion is in on you because you had enough iron in your heart to reach out to get the truth when it's other journalists and other people that's around that's been doing this for years that didn't care about the truth and wanted numbers off of blogs. Your honor is to the ceiling with us. It's past the ceiling. Your honor is high with us here in Philadelphia, man. If you ever decide you want to come and relax and you want to get some interviews and you want to talk, man, come down here, man, and, you know what I mean, sit and talk with us, man, and I'm going to make sure that you get honored by every last person because guess what? You've done something a lot of guys wouldn't do, man. Nah, most definitely, my nigga. I'm definitely gonna keep that shit in mind and shit, bro. Real shit. You know what I mean, and, and do me a favor too, man. Like, your, your honor goes so far, man. Don't stunt your growth with guys like Gully. I mean, you got to get every story as possible. But that guy's a comedian, man. You know, he reached out to me. He tried to say that he, you know, I, I knew he was giving me drops. I never knew that man was, um, you know, he was recording me. I mean, I kind of picked it up at the end, and it was like, damn. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't know he was recording you? Man, I never knew this guy. Only reason why I kind of picked up on it a little bit was at the end he said, give me a drop. So I try to keep it professional because I know Ab always told me, man, it's going to be a lot of people that's going to be coming putting cameras, going to be putting things in your face, and you got to be on point. You can't, you know, dishonor them on the strength of, you know, their concepts of how they feel about us. They might be wanting to just talk. So, you know, just go ahead and drop out on them and, you know, keep it pushing. So when he said, give me a drop, I was like, I was, can you see me pause when he said it? Like, give you a drop. What do you mean, give you a drop? Like, do you want me to have a drop on your, on your next uh, Gully TV? I don't know what he wanted. So, you know, I just go, I said what I said. Like, you know, I'm signing out, man, whatever, Gully TV. I said, speak facts, Gully, and that was it. But this boy here, man, this boy is, a, a, this boy is, is he won views. He says it. He t- I don't know why people are supporting him because he, he actually said it out of his mouth. I need the fans. Come on, y'all. Come on. He want to use the fans for for YouTube AdSense, man. This guy's the most despicable bum in the world, man. Where's his honor at as a person or as a Muslim? And, you know, you got to realize, like, you see how you got New York dudes that come to our state penitentiary, Rick or they state penitentiary. It's honor on, on both ends when it when it's like that. This guy isn't from New York or Philly, but he wants to be like a guy from New York or Philly. Check out his Diddy Bop. His Diddy Bop is a New Yorker Diddy Bop, and his, his attitude of Islam is a Philly, you know, acceptance. That's what he tried to do. So what he really trying to do is he was a guy that sat in the penitentiary, that watch upstate New York niggas, that watch uh, Philly niggas, Chester niggas, and Norristown niggas. He watched them all, man, and he stole a little bit from everybody. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised, man, if that boy's a pedophile or something, the way he acts, man. Only people that have oh, strange sure. characteristics does these things, you know? Gotcha, definitely, definitely, definitely. Well, yo, my nigga, I got you. I'm definitely going to upload this shit so everybody can hear it and whatnot, and I'm being touched with you, heard? Okay, man, that's honorable. You hear me, bro? 
Definitely, bro. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to hit up um Corey Mills and shit. I mean, I don't think he know me and no shit like that. So I'm I'm gonna try though. If you don't try, I'm gonna let him know. Also, man, I'm gonna send him a uh, DM or whatever the case may be, or get somebody, some good people I know that know him, man, and tell him, man, call up there, man. Now, now his honor is on the line on speaking the truth, man. That's all. Yeah, yeah. If anything, if anything um, give him my number. Whatever, we could do that tomorrow. Whenever you want to do it, we could do it. All right, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to reach out to the mud. All right. All right, bro. All right, peace. Peace. Nigga, stand up, little seven. What up? You good? Come alive, my Drop this shit. What up, nigga? Drop this shit. What up, nigga? Fuck your head, man. And you playing movement is the movement to move with.